If you like customizable wallpapers, Wallpaper Engine is by far the best tool you can use. But it's not perfect and can run into problems at times. My name is Adullah, you're watching Candidate Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can fix Steam Community Wallpapers not properly downloading on Wallpaper Engine. So the first thing that I would recommend you do is uh, restart Wallpaper Engine and uh, restart any downloads that you might have be running. So for example, if I zoom in here and launch Wallpaper Engine, let's say I want to browse the workshop and uh, yeah, so if you have any downloads running here, Keep in mind that Wallpaper Engine does not get downloads from uh, itself. It just shows you the progress of the download in Steam, which can be a problem because uh, if there is an issue with your download, chances are it's coming from Steam. So the best way to do this is to just pause the download in Wallpaper Engine or in Steam and restart both of the programs. So I can restart Wallpaper Engine by going to this tray icon, right clicking and then clicking quit. And the same goes for Steam. Right click, click on exit Steam. Once both of these programs have turned off, your animated wallpaper, if you can see any, will go away. And then you can restart the programs and uh, hopefully that should fix the issue. If restarting did not fix the issue, chances are there could be something wrong with your Steam download cache. Now to fix this, we will fire up Steam. Go to uh, Steam icon in the top left click on settings now in this we are going to scroll all the way down to downloads and here you will see a clear download cache setting this generally resolves any issues with downloading or starting apps so it's always recommended that you do this if you're troubleshooting something especially coming from the steam workshop so just go ahead and click on this clear cache button it will say um, it will clear your download cache and you'll have to log in to Steam again. Just go ahead, click confirm and then uh, Steam will restart and you should be able to get your community wallpapers. Another solution that you can take which uh, is a very common thing and fixes a lot of issues for uh, people with Steam is to just head over to the library and uh, verifying game files for wallpaper engine so as you can see i have wallpaper engine right down here i'll right click it go to properties head over to installed files and in here you will see verify integrity of software files so what this feature essentially does is that it checks that every file that wallpaper engine needs to run properly is installed and everything is up to date just checks the, the sanity of your uh, wallpaper engine install so you can click this button go ahead and recheck everything if there's something missing steam will download it and you should be good to go in no time if your wallpaper engine installation is fine and you're still facing problems what you can do is you can manually delete your steam uh, workshop downloads so uh, once again go to the system tray right click the wallpaper engine icon and then click on quit once you've done that fire up windows explorer and just head to whatever location you've stored steam in in my case it is the default location which you can see right here and i'll leave this uh, in the video description below so if you've installed steam in the sort of default location that it installs itself in you should be able to see this right away so if i press enter this folder is empty because currently there is nothing in this download section but whatever you see here just go ahead and delete it make sure that you've quit steam before doing so otherwise you will not be able to do that and uh, that should fix the problem when you restart steam do keep in mind that this will also delete any other uh, community workshop stuff that you might have in other games so for example if you have custom maps in counter strike those might get deleted uh, if you have custom skins or whatever in any other game that will also get deleted so just uh, make sure to take a note of everything before you do it and then you can go ahead and re-download wallpapers from the community workshop One more setting that you can check that may be hampering your uh, wallpaper engine downloads is that if you head to your library 
right click on wallpaper engine and then go to properties then we go to updates and then you will see there are two options here automatic updates and background downloads and we are interested in background downloads so uh, just make sure to check always allow background downloads uh, instead of pause downloads when i'm playing because uh, your global steam settings might pause any downloads when a game is running for example when wallpaper engine is actively running and that can be a problem because if you're running wallpaper engine and your downloads are paused you'll not be able to download any workshop maps and since this is not a game that you restart and launch every time that can be a problem so just to fix this select uh, always allow background downloads it should be fine on the default global setting but in case uh, you can't get steam to work that way just make sure that you check this option this will be enabled only for this game so it is not going to affect your bandwidth in other games or anything of the sort you don't really need to worry about that and um, that should really fix the problem finally if nothing else works uh, you can go ahead and try reinstalling wallpaper engine from scratch now of course this isn't very difficult to do you head over to your steam library right click wallpaper engine go to manage and then click uninstall once the game has been uninstalled instead of uh, seeing this launch button you will see this install button go ahead and click it wallpaper engine will be reinstalled and you should be up and running in no time if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such fixes can we bring for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media follow me on instagram or twitter and we'll see you in the next video